Hi, I'm Joe Alton, MD of Survival Top 50's Reader's Choice website, doomandbloom.net, with over a thousand articles, podcasts, and videos on medical preparedness for any disaster. Together with my wife, Amy Alden, an advanced registered nurse practitioner, we're the authors of the 2017 Book Excellence Award winner in medicine, The Survival Medicine Handbook, now in its 700 page third edition, and the designers of an entire line of medical kits at store.doomandbloom.net. It's important for your nervous system to function well, and every medic in an austere setting should have a basic idea of how to do what we call a neurological exam, an exam of the nervous system. This exam will give you a clue as to how the brain, spinal cord, and motor nerves are working, and will point you to any issues that might be medically significant. Reasons to do a neuro exam include following any type of trauma, of course, especially to the head, to follow a known disease that affects the nerves, and if the person has any of the following complaints. Headaches, blurry vision, a change in behavior, fatigue, change in balance or coordination, numbness or tingling in the arms or legs, a decrease in movement of the arms or legs, a fever of unknown origin, seizures, convulsions, uh, slurred speech, weakness, or tremor of the extremities. Although you won't have CAT scans of the brain or other high technology, you can get a pretty good idea of whether things are normal or not with a pretty quick evaluation. We'll show you today how to do that. The fundamentals are pretty simple and only take a few minutes. The key is to make your instructions to the patients clear and make sure that they are paying attention to your commands. Remember, each caregiver may have a different way of assessing their patients. This is ours. Well, today we've had the good fortune of having this lovely young lady consent to being our patient, our demonstration patient for the neurological exam. Thank you very much. This is... Nurse Amy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just failed the test. <laughs> <laughs> but, but she did answer correctly, so that is a point in her favor. Yay. Well, let's start off by asking you a, a few simple questions. Now, how many fingers do you see? Two. How many fingers do you see? Four. How many fingers do you see? One. How many fingers do you see? Two. Very good. All right, so that's good. Now, one thing that you're going to want to have is some kind of light so you can evaluate the pupils and also whether uh, eye movement is normal in your patient. And so we're gonna go ahead and take a look and shine this light in your eyes. Now notice I'm not using a doctor's pen, I'm using your camp headlamp. And this is something that you may have to, you may have to improvise. And so we're gonna improvise with a couple of items here today. All right, so here I'm gonna shine this in one eye. Mm -hmm. All right, and indeed I see the pupil constrict. And I'm gonna shine this in the other eye, just look in the distance. Mm -hmm. Very good, all right. Now I would like you to just follow this light. Okay. As I go back and forth, and this way and that way. Okay, good, and so you okay. look like you have very good, very normal eye movement. Now do me a favor, give me now a big smile. All right, show her a big smile. Notice that her face is very symmetrical, that she doesn't smile, doesn't have sort of a smirk or uh, a sneer look to her, and she has very normal symmetrical features. That's very important. Now stick your tongue out, uh, and it sticks down. It doesn't go to one side, so that's something that's very important. Now I'm gonna whisper a letter in your ear very okay. quickly. Q. Q. Q, okay, very good, and F. S. Okay, very good. And so sounds like she's able to hear very well, very symmetrically on, okay. on both ears. So that's something that's very, very important. Now do me a favor, shrug for me like this, and let's see. Okay, very good. Don't let me push, good work. Okay. Sounds good. Now what I'd like you to do is close your eyes and then arms out. Very good. And now turn your palms to the ceiling okay. and let's just see what happens over the course of a few seconds. And what we are looking for is any drift that's occurring. You can open your eyes now. Okay. <laughs> any drift that's occurring, no drift, looks like you're able to hold your position. So okay. I think that's something that's very, very important. Okay. So I'm glad you can do that. Now what I'd like you to do mm -hmm. is to squeeze my fingers, all right, really tight. Don't let me lose. Wow, you are pretty strong. <laughs> that is awesome. Now what I would like you to do is, is to assume a position like you're an old timey boxer. Okay. okay, now don't let me push your arms okay. down. Good, very good. Okay. Now don't let me push your 
fist back and whack you in the <laughs> face. Very good. I definitely All right. want to prevent that. Okay, sounds good. Now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to tap your finger like this to your okay. index, uh, your thumb to your index finger. Now okay. I'd like you to alternate it from your index finger to your pinky. Okay. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. Good. Can you do it with the other hand? Yep. Okay, that looks great. Okay, sounds good. Can you mm -hmm. now tap your nose and then tap my finger? Do that a couple of times. Okay, do it fast. <laughs> All right, very good. You do my glasses on. <laughs> you're, really, you're really good at this. Now, what I'd like you to do is sit down okay. facing the camera there. Okay. All right, sounds good. All right, now what I'd like you to do is to lift this thigh, okay. and I'm going to press down upon it and see if I can push it down. I really can't. That's okay. good. Go up. Okay. And I'm trying to push it down. Try to stretch this leg. Okay, good. Just try to stretch this leg. Good. Okay. All right, you have good strength. Notice okay. how I'm not looking for the exact amount of strength because everybody has a different amount of strength in their in their legs and their arms mm -hmm. but i'm looking for symmetry i'm looking to make sure that the strength in one leg is about the same as the other the strength of one arm is Was about okay? the same you were awesome okay now let's see now do me a favor and try to push your lift your foot Take up my shoe off uh, lift your foot up and okay. i'm going to try to push it down okay okay i can't do that go All ahead right. and do that Okay, do up. Okay. All right, sounds good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press here, uh -huh. do a, a special reflex called the planter reflex, trying to elicit that. It tickles though. <laughs> I will say that. And it is uh, uncomfortable, <laughs> but that's okay. If if you have a big toe that rises up to the ceiling when that happens, that could be a sign of some neurological dysfunction. Okay. So that's something that's very important. Let's. Go ahead and we use two common objects to test sensation. Close your eyes okay. and tell me what I'm touching you or if I'm touching you with a Q-tip or with a pick, mm -hmm. okay, and where I'm doing it. Okay. Left cheek and it's a Q-tip. All right. Sounds good. Ow. Right hand. <laughs> oh, sorry. Pokey. <laughs> All right. Very good. Left hand, soft, q -tip. All right, very good. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. Let's look at your reflexes. We don't have a reflex hammer, so okay. let's go ahead and we'll use just about anything would do. You have a number of different reflexes, and of course the one everybody knows relaxed, about, so. every, one everybody knows about is a patellar reflex, and indeed your patient should be relaxed and have their feet hanging uh, over over something not touching the floor. And so you go right to the patellar tendon here, and you feel a little movement there. Boom. Oh, that's a good one. And that's a good one. Notice they're about the same. You also have another reflex right about here. Okay, let's relax. Okay. Relax as best okay. you can. And that's a little harder to, to elicit, but you just want to make sure that there's not any particular movement. There's a little bit of movement there, hardly any. Mm -hmm. And you also have one right here in the Achilles tendon. And that's also, I mean, it's the one that's most E that's easiest to evaluate, of course, is the knee. Okay. All right, now what I'd like you to do, you've done super yes, so doctor. far, I just want to say, is I'd like you to stand up. Okay. All right, now put, holding your feet together, okay. I'd like you to just stand up straight and close your eyes. Okay, don't let me knock you over. <laughs> okay, don't let me knock you over. All right, very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. Well, not too bad. Not too bad. Now, what I'd like you to do is to give me about five or six steps back and forth here. Okay. Just regular. Okay? Just regular. Okay. So do that. Let's. Uh, and so you evaluate the gait of the person to make sure that they look like they're walking. They should be able to walk with a nice narrow base. So that's something that you're looking for. So go. She's got a nice narrow gait. Now I want you to turn around, and I want you to walk uh, one foot in front of the other. Okay. Straight in front of the other. I haven't been doing And try to walk. <laughs> there you go, right? I promise. And yeah. indeed, that's one of the things that they do to check, check you for. Turn around, do one more, okay. do one more go around. Then stop facing that area. Okay. Okay, now can you just walk backwards? Okay. Any, anyway, it doesn't matter. All right, looks like you can do that pretty well. All right, sounds good. Okay, now what I'd like you to do is just go ahead and sit right back there. Okay. <laughs> and the last things I want you to do is at, just answer some simple questions. What okay. day is today? Today is Sunday. Okay, very good. What day of the month is it? It is October 7th. Wow, and you even gave me the month as well. And what is the year? 
2018. That's right, Harvard just for a little while longer. And who is yeah. the president? Trump. That's right, Donald Trump is indeed the president. Multiply 10 times 25. 250. Divide 30 by 6. 5. Now, how are a chair and a sofa related? You can sit in both of them. And how are an apple and an orange related? They are fruits. And how are a hen and a rooster different? A hen is a female and she lays an egg. There you go. Or eggs. <laughs> That's right. And what does it mean when I say, look before you leap? Um, think about the consequences before you have an action. There you go. Uh, well, that looks like a pretty good pretty normal neurological examination. Of course, it's easy for me to show you this with somebody that's completely normal. When things are not normal, a part of this exam is not normal, it could be the sign of a number of different neurological problems. Things that we'll be talking about in future videos. This is Joe Holden, MD, that old Dr. Bones, and Nurse Amy. That wonderful young thing. She is the best patient that I have ever had that is for sure, and we thank you for watching. We'll be back next time. Bye. Oh, by the way, <laughs> don't forget to check out Nurse Amy's entire line of medical kits and supplies at her website at store.doomandbloom.net. That's store.doomandbloom.net. You'll be glad you did.